afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. What else is new? We're in a rush, you guys. But this morning we recorded a podcast. I got ready. Are we sick of hearing me say this? I just had to fill you in on like what you missed this morning, you know? I took a nice shower, Dyson air wrapped my hair, got on some makeup, and I want to show you guys my outfit before we run out the door. I'm wearing that new top I just got from Forever 21. It is very cropped though. I looked on the model and it's not that cropped on her. I think my boobs just push it up more. So it's like super short. <laughs> but like, I mean, if I pull it down, we're like decent. But I have on my puffer jacket on top. Boohoo pants, Converse, my purse. I tried really hard to get a video up for you guys before I left, but I just rendered it and it was rendering like all messed up. It was missing clips. It rendered shorter than it was. And I didn't even make a thumbnail yet and I don't have time to figure it out. So it's gonna have to go up tomorrow morning, but that's fine. At least I got most of it done today. I multitasked. And here we are. So we are going to the Big Apple Circus, courtesy of Yes Broadway. I've got four tickets, me, Zane, my mom, and my dad are going. Jerry is bringing us to the train station, so graciously I asked her to be our little Uber, and she says yes. So, we are just about to head out the door. I made sure I have my glasses, I called and made sure I can bring you guys, and they said yes, as long as it's not a professional camera. And I deem you guys to be a little handheld. Wow, we are just voluminous this hair. What else am I missing? This morning we made those little TikTok foldable wrap things throwback and it's time to go. It is 426. Our train is at 439. We're gonna make it just in time. Well, you guys, we had some miscommunication. Mom thought we were picking them up. I thought they were coming to us. At least you admit it. Yeah, I listen, I own my shit. <laughs> I texted her, I literally said, just come to us first. Be here at 425. And she's like, I thought you were coming to me. Disclaimer, there was a lot of text going back and forth. There was a lot, but anyways. I'm old. We missed the train, so now we're making one in like 20 minutes. So we decided we'd come across the street and get some Philly cheesesteaks from the train station. It's all good. It all happens for a reason, you know? It happened for a reason. What time the train? 513. 513. And then we order our food and they go, it's gonna be about 15 minutes and we go, we've got a train. <laughs> Well, you know, Technically, 15 minutes right, is 5 10. Fresh for you. Yeah. Only five minutes. We'll, be, we'll be eating on the train. We'll be eating on the train. Yeah, yeah. take a lot of naps. Yeah. And you guys, if you listen to the podcast, then you know our total was $43, and the guy working behind there, his name is Jerry. Did you notice that, babe? What's up? $43, and the guy working here, his name is Jerry. Oh, is he? said Jerry. Can you make him? Yes. And I didn't even know. And it was that. 43 yeah, my Wow. Oh, yeah. That's your grandma yeah, saying you missed the train for a reason. That Anne Marie, I really like her. You never know. We could have no, gotten on the train. That's true. We could have um, made the train and then gone to the Uber, and then something could have happened to the Uber. Maybe the Uber got a flat tire or something. It's like something could happen to the train. Something could happen to the train. That's crazy. To have, man. Yeah. Unsavory. Yep. And all I see is all of you. It's all mom's fault. Thank you. Yes, you all should be thanking me. So really, I should thank you. Yeah. I've seen it a couple times. We We're always like, oh, Billy. Really? Way long ago. We went once? Yeah. I don't remember like when that. When we first got together. If we came here, then I definitely didn't come inside because I don't no, no, no. recall this at all. What? Never, never, never. Neither. I just sort of signed them. Oh, Ooh, Philly cheesesteaks. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, you guys. Zane's wearing his Crocs. Look, Dad. Look. Look at his shoes. Oh, comfortable, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> he made Crocs fashionable. He made them fashion. It's, they're still ugly, but they're, no, they're so not. comfortable. They look pretty yeah, yeah, no, it's so you smart. You know, I mean, I'll stay on when yeah. you're walking and then it'll flip. flip well, that, uh, yeah, flip you put this thing on the back and then it prevents it. Oh, you yeah. Like, I want my boots because I usually wear sneakers, but I don't want to yeah. be cold. My feet to be cold. Yeah, it's I know. I double socked. No. I wear these because I know they're comfy and they're ugly, but I don't care if they keep my feet warm. Yeah. And these are the most comfortable boots I ever owned. Oh my god, yeah. we need a sponsorship. Guys, the Philly Cheese Steak Place hooked it up. It's 5 o'clock and they gave us our Philly Cheeses. We're gonna make the, the plane, the train. It leaves at 5.13. We're doing well. We made it to the waiting room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, it matters we got Philly cheese days and the train's coming in eight minutes. Make sure they stay warm. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Look how little yours is. I didn't know it was going to be that small. I got a small one because I want to eat snacks at the place. I want to eat nachos. No. Hey, we are taking a double decker. Down the stairs, yeah. It's the only way to go. If you want to find one of those, I don't know. Ones that face each other, yeah. Don't mind, hey, he said he'll move for us for here. Oh, he would? Yeah. Oh, you. we got one. 
appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, we've made it and we've got the goods. Hallelujah. <laughs> How's it looking? It smells good. Ooh, it looks legit. Let me see, let me see. Never been to this place before. Oh, it looks good. Look at that. Oh my god. It's good? Amazing? Oh, good. We have made it to the Lincoln Center and it is beautiful. I don't think I've ever been here. It's that back booth 10, no? Yeah, I see the circus. It's back there. Let's go. Did it say anything on the website about wearing a mask inside? If you're vaccinated, you don't have to. Okay, good, because my glasses. I know, my glasses them. fall. I know at Broadway, they, you have to wear your mask and the whole time I'm like struggling with my glasses. Wow, this is gorgeous. Look at how pretty this is. Stunning. Stunning. Wait, how do we get to the circus? Uh, probably through the, the back of the building, no? Oh, okay. Wow. This is beautiful. Cool. We've got the tickets. Oh, We're going in. Oh, vaccination ID. Vaccination ID. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? All right. Sorry, hot mess. Ah, ticket time. Okay. <laughs> We oh, got the red carpet. Uh, got the tickets. I've got four of us. <laughs> oh, okay, no problem. <laughs> two, three, and it's three, four. We're going to do a two to the left. The show two just started. Thank, Thank you. you. Two to the left. Do a two to the left. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh my god. It's a socket. Oh, <laughs> oh, there's all the sweet treats and pretzels. Door two. Restroom right here. I already peed. I already peed. Oh my god, it's nice and warm. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited. There's an there's an intermission. We'll come get stuff at the intermission. The show started. We're like one minute late. Three minutes. Yeah, we have seats. Oh, it's getting dark. We are two to five minutes. Okay, thank you. Wow, these are good seats. Yeah. <laughs>
Hello, hello. We are back at home. Took the train back. Jari picked us up, our little Uber driver for the night. The circus was so cool. I think I'm in love with Dosh Hounds now. Like, I've always loved their little legs, but one of the acts had like a bunch of Dosh Hounds. And I was like, you know what? I was like, I really like Corgis, but Dosh Hound is like where it's at. I just love the little legs. I don't think Zan and I are really gonna get a dog until like when we're way later in life because we just adore our cats and we like how easy they are. <laughs> Just being honest and getting a dog to get along with all three of them would be wow a lot of work we 100 percent wouldn't get a dog until we have a house but even then i'm like this is gonna be a while but i just love dosh hounds and it was really cute um what else was cool the act where they walk on the tightrope if you guys remember the guy that walked across niagara falls on the tightrope that was the performer it was like the whole family um is like tightrope performers he said like six people in his family died from doing the tightrope from falling off i'm like oh my god like how are you still doing this that was really cool and they were not strapped to anything so like if they fell they would have got really hurt like they would like not strap to anything that would hold them in the air if they fell so that was really <laughs> scary i don't know if it was staged but he called his 68 year old mother out from the crowd because she obviously like started it all like she used to do it when she was younger and he was like oh one of my goals is to, like have you on stage and do a pyramid with us and she like came out of the crowd and like went and did it i don't know if he does that every show or if um that actually happened and she was visiting but he's like she's in town today and i want her to come up and she was like okay can you guys be nice to each other yeah tell him bell little gremlin come here also there were a few acts from america's got talent which was really cool so i recognized some faces one of the guys did like staying underwater he literally held his breath for like two minutes like trying to unlock himself it was terrifying but yeah it was really cool the the arena wasn't that big so it was nice because I could see so clear, like we were so close to the axe. I thought it was really cool. Anyways, we're about to do a bed unboxing. I have a few things here, probably nothing exciting. And my diet has been really crap today, but I don't care. I am boiling up some water for ramen. I actually should probably go put that in. Let's go put that in. I really was like craving pasta, but I was like, I don't feel like, I don't know, just like waiting for it to boil and then having to make a sauce and everything. I'm like, ramen like warm hot soup actually sounds good because it's skin cold here in new york we're getting really wintry and chilly so we're gonna make some ramen set a timer for three minutes sure three minutes starting now oh my god i'm fired i literally forgot to measure my water i think i put a little too much water hold on literally you guys i was about to explain to you how i like making my ramen and how i like make it perfect every time but i haven't made it in so long that i guess i forgot i always measure the two cups of water okay so i didn't do that you measure the two cups of water and then usually people put the flavoring in when it's done i put half in while it's boiling and then half in when it's done and i feel like it just marinates the flavors you know gourmet 25 cent ramen i think it's good that way oh i already smell it it's nostalgic it smells amazing it's gonna comfort me it's been a while since we ate we had those philly cheesesteaks but i only had a half of one it wasn't really that big and then at the show we had all shared a bucket of popcorn and some nachos which i didn't really have many nachos um the popcorn though was literally the best popcorn i think i've ever had in my life it was so salty and buttery it was delicious so i had that little tiktok wrap thing that i made this morning Half of that Philly cheesesteak and some popcorn. So I'm kind of like hungry and I just want something even though it's about to be midnight, whatever. Ramen is so nostalgic to me. Like I would literally make this probably almost every night when I was in high school. Like it was that-ish. And when my friends would sleep over, we would put it in these big plastic cups and eat it out of a cup. And at like 1 a.m. it was like so fun to go into the kitchen and make our ramen and then go to my bedroom and eat it out of this plastic cup. It was like iconic. We're gonna have a little bit of a glow up and we're gonna eat it out of a Yeti. Stop. Cause you know what it is? Like, I don't wanna sit at the table. And like, that's what I used to do when I was in high school. I used to take it to bed. <laughs> so I always wanted like something that I can eat it out of easier because you can't really hold the soup bowl in bed. You're kind of asking for a disaster. One time I dropped my phone in it. It's pretty funny. I like had the cup near my side and my phone like slipped right into the soup cup. I don't remember what I did though. I think I took it out quick enough and then like put it in rice and it was fine. I just have that memory. I'm not sure why. Love her. Love a good old ramen. I'm so sorry if you're hungry, but tell me this doesn't make you crave ramen. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna do this over the sink. Just in case we don't want a disaster. Oh my God, it smells so good. And then sometimes if we were like really eager to eat it, I would grab like two ice cubes 
and put it in here so that I can eat it faster. <laughs> okay, going back inside. You guys playing with your laser? <gasps> Who's that? Bailey Boo? <gasps> Get it, girlfriend! Oh my god. Tomorrow we're doing um, something cleaning on a Saturday because Zine has a tennis um, match tournament something on Sunday. So we're gonna clean tomorrow instead. So I get to leave it a little bit of a disaster tonight. Okay, see this is perfect. Now when my soup cools, we'll do a little unboxing. This one is my printer ink, I think. Which you guys know, it got delayed and I literally needed it. And then it got lost. It was like, we think your package is lost. Feel free to cancel. I was like, oh yeah, cancel if you lost it. So I had faith in Amazon and I said, they can't lose it twice. So I ordered it again and it came. So that's exciting. Gotta send out some Poshmark packages tomorrow. So I don't know what these are. I know I got labels for spice jars and this one says spiced on it, but I don't know what this flat little one is. Like what can this be? And it's from Amazon. More labels? Did I order them like on accident? What is this? This is a Christmas gift that I can't show you. I don't know what to do with Christmas. I want to show you guys what I got my family, but I think I'm going to do it in a gift guide format so people don't know what if I got people something, you know, I'll just give ideas. And then on Christmas, I obviously always vlog Christmas, so you guys will see what I get people. But I, if I do a Christmas gift idea slash like what I get my family, I'll just tell my family not to watch it. And like if they watch it and ruin their surprise, then that's their fault. I'll be very mad at them. That is their fault. And my sister moved, so she's probably just gonna get some gift cards. <laughs> Unless I send stuff like straight to where she lives now. All right, here's my spice jar labels. So nice. Look at these. I got them on Amazon. I just love the font and everything. And I ordered new um, containers. I think I told you that on my last vlog. So I'm excited for those to come. And I ordered like the extra pack. There's like a lot in here. Some of these, I don't even know what they are. What is Burberry? Bur Burberry. Some of these I don't even have. Oh, look what they have. Everything bagel. I don't know if I'm gonna have all of them on here, but I could recruit Jerry to use her uh, cricket <laughs> if I need. But they have all the basic ones, like garlic powder, onion powder. Actually, it says onion salt. Do they have onion powder? Oh, they do. Why would they put onion powder and onion salt? Benji's, I mean, Benji. Benji is meowing. Zane is playing uh, video games with his friends. Let's see if you hear him chatting. Oh, they have lemon pepper. All right, we'll see. I'll do our everyday ones. Do they have, oh, they have Old Bay. Oh, cool. Okay, this is gonna be really cool, you guys. So I'm just waiting for my um, containers in the mail. And then this is gonna be a project that we do. Love it. I do wish they gave a few blank ones, but also I don't really wanna write on the label cause I probably couldn't be able to do it. So if anything, I'll have um, Jerry re-copy uh, them and make one for me. <laughs> Okay guys, um, I was gonna continue this vlog tomorrow, but now that we're doing Sunday cleaning, Bella, don't even think about touching my soup. It's still steaming, steaming over there. The Yeti will keep it nice and warm. Come over here. Okay. Um, I was gonna continue this vlog tomorrow, but now that we're doing Sunday cleaning, doing both is like a lot at once, <laughs> like filming both, cause Sunday cleaning takes us like almost all day, like a good amount of time. Um, and I feel like I probably talked your ear off today, so. Um, tomorrow will film Sunday cleaning, you guys will see that. Oh, also, for those of you interested, an update on my Billy perfume. I really like it, but I felt like it wasn't super strong, but actually my mom today was like, is that you? It smells really good. I smell your perfume. Is that the Billy perfume? So she recognized it, so that's good. I put on a lot more today. I think that was it. I think I was a little skimpy when I was putting it on. Anyways, I think that's gonna be it for me today. I'll probably vlog on, like, Sunday or Monday. Next week is Thanksgiving, so that'll be fun. I'll take you guys along. You guys know we make our annual mac and cheese. I think we're gonna try Chrissy Teigen's recipe this year. And I'm gonna do some asparagus and maybe something else, we'll see. But that'll be fun. Thanksgiving's gonna be fun, but wait until you guys see what I have planned for Christmas. Oh my God, I've got so many games and I'm planning the menu. I'm so excited. Update on the chicken too, I think I'm gonna skip it. It's just, a, I don't know, I feel like I'm cooking it just because it's like good for holidays. Like people make like hams and turkeys and chickens and I'm just like, it's not for me. I'd rather make something more up my alley. So I have some other things in mind and my parents are gonna bring a ham, so. They'll bring that big meat that I just don't really care to make. It, it just it wasn't, just, I don't know. It's just not really for me. I don't care that much. Um, so I have some other things in mind for the menu. Now that they're gonna bring a baked ham, I can have fun with it instead of just making a roasted chicken just to make a roasted chicken. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye guys.